Hog Champ. Should probably turn on the other programs too, huh? That's kind of important. <laughs> kind of important. Just a little. Thank you for the hydrate redeem, villain of legends. I'll take one right now, actually. How is everyone tonight? Thank you for coming. I think a good Wednesday. You're good. I'm currently thinking about two things. One is D&D &D and two is the work I'm putting off. Oh, now that's a mood. I shall be more than happy to serve as yet another distraction for you. I too am in a better mood tonight. Some issues that were plaguing me earlier this week have seemed to have partly corrected themselves. Insofar as you can correct a uh, really large bill or expensive repair jobs, but that's the cost of living, I suppose. Finished my professional speedrun on the RE4 remake, but it kind of bummed me out. Burned me out on game on the game because that's the difficulty they didn't play test for. Oh my god. Chat, imagine playtesting video games in this day and age. God, can you imagine? You have four moods. Horny, fanfic writer, venomous fiend, and vibrating with anxiety. Imagine playing video games, right? Sure can be me. This channel is not devoted to playing video games. It's devoted to reliving the past. Glorious, glorious past. Hey everyone. Thank you for dropping by. My name is Lawler Hicks, your host for the tonight's Lost Time Show. Thank you for coming. I apologize for being a little bit late to getting everything ready tonight. We were running a little bit behind, but the important thing is I am here. Horny fanfic writer is one mood for you. <laughs> I have not been a horny fanfic writer in some time. Maybe I should change that. <laughs> Alright, so it's been a while since we played Deus Ex. The reason why we're replaying The Missing Link is because I'm not playing the uh, remake version of this game. I'm actually playing the original version, and the original version, The Missing Link, was a separate uh, title altogether. Which... 
I actually never don't remember beating this thing. Like I'm pretty sure I didn't get this far in Deus Ex. And I played this game several times over the years. So hopefully with this playthrough we'll actually be able to finish it for once. Maybe. Who knows, really? Who fucking knows? But we're gonna find out. The year is 2027. Six months ago, augmented black ops soldiers broke into the biotech corporations, Seraph Industries, and kidnapped the company's top researchers. Adam Jensen has been searching for them ever since. 2027? Wow. Chad, that's in like two, two years from now. Wait, no, I can't do math. That's in four years from now. And because it's been so long since I played this game, I legit don't know where we are now. So let's just do what we do best, I suppose. Sneak around Fun Town. Welp, that could have ended in disaster just there. I do believe we're on a submarine of some kind. I think that's what's going on. Yeah. Because here's the outside. Or maybe we're on a ship. We're not on a submarine exactly as we are on a ship. Gosh, it's so dark. The things I do for a ma immersion. I never get tired of that animation though. Sadly, because this game is not actually attached to the uh, main game, when I eventually beat this level, I'm not going to be able to bring any of this, uh, any of these credits or experience points with me. So when I boot up the original Deus Ex game, our original Deus Ex Human Revolution game, it's just going to bring up um, what I ended the game with last time I played. Wow, that was the easiest hacking minigame I've done yet. <laughs> Easy save. Wait, you're doing the sub-side story by itself? Yeah, I have to, because in the original game, the sub-side story was separate from everything else. So I don't really have a choice in the matter. Since I decide not to play the, uh... I decide not to play the director's cut version, because it had... problems. Or so I've been told. The director's cut is not really so much a director's cut as it is a um, hmm. Let's let's uh, remove the yellow filter and resell uh, re resell re release the game. You know, I know there's a camera around here, but I can't seem to find it. There's two of them there. Uh, yeah. Thought if you had the DLC, it was inserted halfway through the game. Nope, it's only it's inserted halfway through the game in the uh, Director's Cut Edition. In the original version, it was just a separate ex executable, a separate game altogether. Playing this level makes me feel like I'm the thing from the movie of the same from the movie of the same name, the thing. Uh Okay. What the fuck? Holster the goddamn firearm. Jesus. 
<laughs> I am the thing. Indeed, I am certainly a thing of all time. Do I have a shotgun? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for redeeming the throw something at my face redeem. How are you doing, a spirit? Welcome to the stream. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ayo? <laughs> it's just perfectly falling on its holster like that, on its uh, buttstock like that. I'm meh uh, doing D&D and typing Harry F. Trevor. Uh, Trevor, Trevor. Trevor was... I was told that Trevor is apparently an AI that had taken over my body at some point. Unfortunately, I do not know the whereabouts of Trevor at this time. My name is Lawler Hicks, though. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Ooh, D&D is always fun. I play D&D with my friends Pro Professor Cosmo Bergamo and friends. Hello, person I already forgot the name of. <laughs> you can call me Lulz for short. This hacking game minigame looks a little bit more difficult, but only slightly. Oh, I spoke to you soon. Oh my goodness, chat. Um, this could be problematic. Nope, we won. <laughs> I'm just like heavy chaos. I have ADHD and may or may not have made a pack of an ancient deity for infinite power. We, mo we may never know. The world may never know. Hostess. Hey, bud cramps. Long time to see. How have you been? <laughs> What will I use this on, chat? DSX called me back? Yep. I want to finish the- I do want to finish the series. Figured I might as well. Honestly, people didn't- seemed less interested with Cyberpunk 2077 than they were with watching DSX. I don't know why, but then again, this game does take place in 2027, so maybe it's more relevant to y'all, since the year is 2023 right now. <laughs> Man, those are some high waves. I should probably head back really quick just to make sure I didn't miss anything on the way here. Oh. Well. Sounds to me like there is someone around here. I wonder where? I wonder if they're upstairs or what? Why is everyone alarmed? I'm sure there's gonna be a security procedure and analysis once we dock. Command won't be a happy one but to breach. Don't you just love these two, these soldiers? They're so by the book, they didn't think to question how a so-called pirate got on their ship. And they're about to pay the ultimate price for it too. Or maybe not. Ow. God just... Well, good thing I quick saved so many times, huh? Load latest save.
How did they know it was a pirate? They didn't even look at you and say you were the captain now. That's very true. As a pirate, I can also do anything I want. Do what you want because a pirate is free and you are a pirate. Truer words have never been said. Wait. Did you see that? I thought I took this person out. Why are they awake? Bruh. Cringe. Idiot. Why do I have a star next to your name? Because you're a superstar. <laughs> Indeed. You have been deemed worthy. Do not question it. Wow, the new code for the Bridges Balcony deck is 1284. Son of a bitch. Really? That was a lot faster than normal. It's the default substreak icon, I think. Glows doesn't have a custom one yet. Indeed, I don't. However, I was able to dig up some of my old emotes from a previous community, so I'm probably going probably gonna to be using one of those to serve as a sub icon badge. Because of OCD, I'm going to keep playing this until I'm able to get a ghost, a ghost run, at least in this section. Now you're sad, thanks. If you like, I can take a few minutes to just really quickly add the new, add the uh, first sub icon. It will literally not take me that long to do. There's a guard still around here that came out of nowhere and saw the uh, trail of bodies I left on the floor. And I'm trying to figure out is where and why. So I don't see anything around here. Do you, chap? Oh. Now I understand why. Anyway, Snake, you need to use the anchor like me from Guilty Gear Strive. Mmm, Colonel. I'm trying to sneak on board the ship, but I'm dummy thick. And a clap of my ass cheeks keep alerting the guards. Not that I have much in the way of ass cheeks anyway. Oh, for fuck's sake. I wonder if I can shut down that uh, camera using a stun gun. I doubt it's going to work, though. Snake, never say it again, please. Say what, Colonel? The clap of my ass cheeks alerting the guards? 
Oh, for f <sighs> One more time. Throw something in my face. Thank you for throwing yet another thing in my face, Spirit. I'm glad to see that your first night seeing a lull stream with all my redeems active, that you've taken great advantage of them thus far. Although I just also realized that for some reason I can't seem to- get out. There we go. I heard that one. I wonder why I couldn't hear the previous ones. Okay, so it is working. I'm, I'm just tripping. You like to throw things, huh? Are you perhaps a baseball player? Well, what do you know? It does work like that. Pog. But if you consider throwing a tactical, what the shit? Really? Oh my fucking god. Thank you for the hydrogen redeem steal. Well, you consider throwing a tactical nuke in an orphanage a sport. I'm a professional. Really? And how many orphanages have you annihilated in this manner? I am very excited to know. It's been too long since you slammed me. Not in front of the kids, Steel. Oh my god. I kid. Uh, children are not... Are, I, I kid. I do not encourage children to attend um, my streams. However, I also realistically cannot stop them. 7,000? 7,000 orphanages or 7,000 children? I can't believe I wasted a stun gun bullet uh, taking this thing out when it turns out when it turns out I couldn't actually do anything about seven thousand orphanages, huh? Man, that's six thousand and nine hundred and ninety nine plus one, and that's. Amazing. Hey, Sar. Hey, Hicks. It's 10 degrees hotter in my house than it is outside with all the windows open. That's terrible. That's truly disgraceful. I'm sorry to hear that. This dude's playing Game Boy while on the job. These are great mercenaries, chat. As soon as my power bar fills up, I'm going to go and... Let him know just what his superiors probably think of him for sleeping on the job. I know that staying on a ship gets boring, but come on. What the hell do you think they're paying you for? And my folks guess them into believing that it's in my head. Opening windows might have the negative effect. Pog. What the hell is that? Oh. You've got to be shitting me now. Come on. I should have shot him in the face with a stun gun after all.
Do, 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 do. All right, all right. Well, that was fairly simple. Next morning, try not to open any windows until it cools that side. <laughs> Thermodynamics. Ayo? For a moment there, I thought they were tits ahoy. I was wrong, chat. Electro gravity technology applications. I sure can jump for fairly high or fairly high. I'm angry at my players. They are acting like bards. What do you have against bards, my good sir? <laughs> Those are fighting words. Oh yeah, I was ranting about D&D on Bird Space the, or, or just a few minutes ago, actually. It seems like Wizards of the Coast can't do anything without getting into trouble these days. But the latest one was pretty embarrassing, I gotta say. The latest flop, I mean. Bards are the cause of children booms. More children means more to feed. Always actively try to kill your players. I am. Do it harder. Make them not have a good time. Fine, I will send Tarask. A Tarask is so boring, though. You don't need to go as far as Tarask. You could just send an Archlich. Mech style, augmentation culture, and cutting edge cyberware for the enhanced human. The United Nations biopolitic vote. What it means for you, Tai Young Medical's new BX series cyber limbs. Are the rumors of a 45% failure rate true? Damn. New enhancements for the Hermes cyber like processes. Full body conversions in the next decade. Top 5 mech style picks. Implanted cellular phones and digital media players. Lim opens new clinics in Glasgow, Oslo, and Wellington. The rise in black market cybernetics. Can you afford to take the risk? And other such things. Cyrabu's power bar. A damage upgrade. And copy of Penthouse, apparently. These soldiers are definitely living the dream, chat. In Origins from BO2, do what I do because we are do doing a COD BO3 campaign. You're doing... Wait, you're playing D&D Modern? That's interesting. Zombie, eat your intestines a little, you die. Zombie specifically. Just play Dread, easy. Dice are overrated. Embrace making your pay players play Jenga to perform feats of strength and skill. Kind of cringe, champ. Not gonna lie. Look, why would you pretend to roleplay as fantasy characters using dice when you could when you could just put on some costumes from Spirit Halloween and pretend to roleplay in the real world, or rather in the meat space world? Take the game from outside your head into the meat space. No, no, two things I hate. They will suffer through an actual zombie easter egg, D&D, and Star Wars. That's just Knights of the Old Republic. <laughs> I 
which is like my favorite RPG of all time. But it's still Knights of the. That's basically what Knights of the Old Republic is. It's D and D, except Star Wars flavored. Ah yes, my character uses a gun. Let me just buy this prop, 1911. I.O. I see you too. Are a base 19 or are a base 1911 1911 enjoyer, as well. these prop bullets did you know that shooting those uh whatchamacallum that those uh blank bullets actually do fire a projectile or do you have a projectile that comes out when you fire them most people see don't seem to figure this sort of thing out up until they jokingly use them on a real live target and then jokingly send them in the hospital or, as was the case in a certain movie star, certain recent movie that was being shot, until it wasn't, um, it can accidentally end someone's life. Alec Baldwin has entered the chat. Alec Baldwin has no power over me, but I have all the power over Alec Baldwin. So sad. Alec Baldwin, of course. I wonder whatever happens to that. Is he gonna get manslaughter? Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. Access granted. Ayo Gozaimas. Oh, motherfucker. I'm aware that the exit of the, the my next objective was actually just in that previous room but I'm going around hacking additional stuff to get more experience points wow look at how easy look at how difficult this uh, hacking job was such difficulty very unfair wow unfair in my favor that was an actual bullet the question is how he got there he got charged with manslaughter Wait, whoa, 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 there's an actual bullet in that gun? Not a shit, not, not a fucking, uh, not a blank? Your new nickname is going to be Alucard for you? Very well. You can zap the cameras, and I did that, one, or did that earlier. The problem is, it only temporarily zaps them. And I've kind of grown, uh, rather fond of my stun gun, so... I'm trying to avoid abusing its ammunition, at least for the time being. That was the whole story that it was a real bullet, Lamau? Why the fuck would they put a real bullet in the gun? How do you just accidentally put a real bullet in that gun, man? That's so fucked up. I mean, how for how long were they shooting the movie prior to that happening? One does not simply just randomly happen to put a real bullet inside of said gun. Unless it was an inside job or some shit like that. Weird. Big Brother is watching us, chat. All right, nothing cool on this side, I suppose. Let's go to the next stage of the game. Wait, CIC. Uh, that stands for, like, something like, uh, this is like the, yeah, this is like the, uh, radar room and, the uh, planning room, isn't it? Why is it so unguarded? These are really bad mercenaries. Bad at being mercenaries. We do a little hacking.
Pog. Hog. Hey, Alucard, what is two times three? I do believe it's 32. That's how you do math, right? Don't do their homework for them, lulz. <laughs> It's a good thing I'm not Lulz. My name is Alucard. <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble for doing someone's homework for them, you know? Power supply disrupted. It's not your homework, totally. What's one times two? Uh, 21. Stabilizing bins deployed. Roll reduced to acceptable values. I yeah. Do 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 do. 127 credits. I wonder where this goes. Another security door? In another alarm panel, which I'm going to hack and destroy. Pog. Oh, hell. Here we go again. I'm not even sure we're going to be able to... Or will we? Ha! I win. Another alarm panel destroyed. Thanks to yours truly. Can't be 21 is 9 plus 10. I see as well. Your math is clearly superior, Steel. Indeed, Steel, indeed. These are definitely the maths of all time. Lorem Ipsum? Square? Did you really think people weren't going to try and read this thing? Come on. Wow. This is definitely game of the year, chap. This, they probably stopped paying the writers for this game or something. Especially since this is DLC. They probably didn't expect anyone to actually read these things. Your politics bore me. Imagine being political in this day and age. Bruh. There's a voice. Too heavy? Cancer. Being political now is how you get shot? I've been political a few times now, and so far I've only been shot... twice? Three times? It was not a fun experience. I do not recommend it. Jensen skipped arm day? Yes, he did. Yes, he did.
That's okay. We're gonna give him new arms. Richard. Francis Pritchard isn't going to be hearing you anytime soon, Bertrand. Altono is close to the base. He's jamming away. Who the hell are you? Someone who's gone through a lot of trouble to make your escape look like accident. I was hoping you wouldn't call quite so much attention to it on your way to this room. But one works with the tools he has. Get to the aft cargo bay. Find the sally port there and enter it. You're going to encounter more resistance. But the longer you stay undetected, the better off your future will be. Very pog. I got the smooth operator perk. Additional experience get. Took us a few tries, though. What does Glitch do? Why don't you try it and find out? Oh, what the shit? Why did that happen just now? Did I- was I supposed to, like, duck or something? You're saving up points? Indeed. You will get to figure out what Glitch does in due time. And there will be more points on the horizon. Eventually. Richard. Francis Pritchard isn't going to be hearing you anytime soon, Bratan. Non-lethal, you're gonna ban non-lethal takedowns? Alright, ban for the next five minutes. So, I will regain access to non-lethal takedowns at around... 10.03? Let's make it, we'll do it, we'll make it 10.05, at 10.05. Now, non-lethal takedown specifically refers to using the Q button, so that means I could still stun people, right? <laughs> It's very hard resisting the temptation of spending the points to throw things. I know, right? Most people think that I'm being merciful by making the spe the throw redeem so cheap, but it's all according to Keikaku. <laughs> uh. Indeed. Indeed. I am deaf. I told you, I live in your walls. Who else would live in your walls but a monster? Oh, I activated your trap card. Is that, is that so? Let us see what traps you have available for us. You live in my walls, huh? I'd like to see that. I do not believe you. <laughs> I see forecast for Med Area 1011, southeast nearing southwest. 
thundery showers with moderate to good visibility occasionally more. Stabilizing fins deep low. Equator to 12 south Roll between 90 and 142. South towards the coast. Occasional rain. Visibility moderate. This is a lot of riding. A lot more than the main game, that's for sure. I summon a red eyes black dragon in attack position. Oh yeah? Well I reveal pot of greed, which allows me to put two more cards into my hand. Or something like that. I wonder if I'll get to kill any of these people. Then I use the power of anime BS to summon Silver to Sky Dragon. Oh really? You have no power here, unfortunately. After all, I'm an AI VTuber, not an anime VTuber. <laughs> Access granted. Sometimes there's just no way to win. You end your turn to make this even worse? I still got one minute until I can no longer... Until I can use my, uh, use my non-lethals. Yeah, you can't ban another in-game action for a little bit, unfortunately. It does have a cooldown. And five minutes is up. <laughs> I only got one stun gun bullet left too. <laughs> you summon Exodia? How did you summon Exodia with no part none of his parts? You go up there. What's up here, chat? Have we been here before? Yeah, we've been here before. Do I really want to know? Of course. Knowing is half the battle. Don't you know? Oh, shit. Well, that could certainly have been awkward. You know, if I didn't know better, I would say that they fell down before the gas grenade actually went off. I hit them in your hair? Gosh, what kind of hair do you have? Actually, don't answer that question. <laughs> Morning here. 
Goodness gracious. Do you have evening hair as well? How about I don't regret using that stop worm just now? I probably won't. It's probably gonna be okay, right? It has to go to work. <laughs> Fair enough. What kind of work does it do? Out of curiosity. Five minutes is up. A robotics engineer, huh? I could see a head of hair being a robotics engineer. Hair can be fairly intelligent when it wants to be. Just look at Milia from Guilty Gear. Her hair literally has a mind of its own. Oh, I hate these boxes things. Poker night. I'm kind of curious how long the missing link even is. Bay confirmed. Like, am I nearing the end of the mission yet, or do we still have a while to go? These are the most unprofessional mercenaries I've ever had to deal with so far. That's why I feel bad about killing any of them. One of these days you'll challenge me to chess. You'll never see it coming. That's because I have, a, I have the ultimate move in chess. It's called E4. There. Bam. I already won. I already won. We haven't even played yet. Securing bay doors. All personnel prepare for unloading. Access granted. You play E5, huh? Pog. That was easy. Pog champ. You need 22 more points? Come on, 22. <laughs> Unlikely. Beginning final approach to Rifleman Bank Station. Oh my god. What fresh hell is this? Look at that. Yeah, no. Aft and bow thrusters full back. Thank you. 
Access grant. Catch twenty two, perhaps. Today I learned the stun gun has incredible range. I shot it from just across this hallway just now. You have a game, it's called 52 Card Pickup. Based. Very based. Nine one seven three. Docking bay confirmed. Weird. According to this, there should be a guard around here. Maybe he's uh, he's inside there. Beginning final approach to Rifleman Bank Station. Hmm. That's weird. We should be apparently be uh, right on top of him. I learned that ironically I'm better at fighting games when I turn my brain off and just let my reflexes do the work. Same. If I try thinking too much in in a fighting game, I actually do or actively do worse. For whatever reason. Aft and bow thrusters full back. Thank you. Securing bay doors. All personnel In the words of Neon Yellow, don't think, feel. Indeed. Indeed. No, the thing is, when I let my brain do less work, I'm able to calculate the opponent's next move while I let my reflexes punish. Is that so? We should play Strive sometime. Yeah, you're getting back into strife after a long break, Bedman. <laughs> yes, Bedman is releasing tomorrow, I believe. Steel asked if I was going to do a, a stream for Bedman, and I'll think about it. We'll see if we can, what we can do. We shall see, we shall see. Hey there, Delilah. Do, 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 do. Wonder what's over here. Unfortunately, I don't have enough praxis points to get uh, poison resistance right now. So that's kind of a joy kill.
I wonder if I can make it to the other side before I die. <coughs> the answer is no. No, I cannot. No, I cannot. Getting your brother into his tribe purely because I showed him the trailer for Bedman and he liked it? That's good. We always need new people to play tribe with. Sorry about that. Had a system failure just now. In my brain. In my CPU. Oh, Christ. That's not what I meant to do, chap. Please ignore what it was that I just did. Not a good teacher, though. Too competitive. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of guides on YouTube and such for learning how to place try properly. If he's serious about it. It's, I think it said how when I got back into Strive, I lost my rank a lot from floor 9 to floor 5. I don't feel worried about it. That happens all the time. I myself have tapped, have uh, peaked at floor 8, currently trying to get into floor 9, but my gameplay, while vastly improved, is still inconsistent. I wonder how many guards are down here. Three of them? That's not so bad. You see, the problem is, back when I played 24-7, I was able to keep up with Celestial level players. Ah, that's your skill level, I see. But now, not so much, huh? The Neko Arc and my multi blood, <laughs> multi -blood rot in my brain. Now that is certainly a mood. Oh god, there's a lot of people down here. Four of them? That might be a bit much. Glitch in the system. Ah! Did it redeem? One second. Ah, there we go. Yes, indeed. It's probably hard to tell because of all the static, tr static in the back. But as you can see, you've glitched out my character model. Just a little bit, though. Now what? Well, I'm going to be stuck in this state for a little while, at least until it wears off. Mm-hmm. <laughs> The more expensive the redeem, the more ridiculous my model becomes glitched. Collect them all! Ooh. 
Lawler gave up and decided to just go on a killing spree. You're not saving up 7k? It's a lot quicker than you may think. <laughs> Right now we seem to be having trouble though. Human Revolution is not responding to my mouse clicks. So we're gonna check something out. Make sure it's working properly. Well, it would appear that I can no longer click load latest save for some reason. 10 out of 10 gameplay. I guess Deus Ex does not like being clicked out of, huh? Good thing we did as many saves as we did. Ah, we managed to unfuck it. Good. Good, 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 good. You might go play Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel for a minute or two. I need to make sure I can 100% destroy my brother. No problem. I'll be here for the next couple hours or so. Thank you for visiting. Beginning final approach to Rifleman Bank Station. These people were terrorists and war criminals of course. What we're doing is locking them up so they don't kill innocent civilians. I don't feel sorry for any of them. Really? So what's all this bullshit about calling them unlawful belligerents? What does that even mean? It sounds like a made-up term to cover our asses. What it means is you keep your mouth shut and you do what you're ordered to do. I believe what I'm told to believe. And if you had any brains, you'd do the same unless you want to join the pop schools and burn a detention wing. You're teaching someone? Yu-Gi-Oh? Nice. Aft and bow thrusters full back. How that dude didn't notice me just freaking skip my way to the side is beyond me. The what the shit? I don't know how that happened, but I was a little bit cringe champ just now. You're teaching him the ways of me? Very nice. Ah, uh, this is starting to get old, but it's the nature of stealth games. Especially since I am now out of stun material. We'll just have to make do. And also save down here so I don't need to go through that process again. Thanks for throwing something in my face to keep me awake. I really should have grabbed some caffeine before starting stream tonight. You going back to chucking things at me? <laughs> I thought you wanted to save up your redeem points for something. The mind is willing, but the flesh is weak. You did. Oh, that didn't last very long, did it? It made you sad? Aww. Man, with this stealth game, there's no Kojima weirdness like watching a Norman Weedus piss or Sundowner mentioning 9-11 or Big Boss show her tits because she's going into a firefight. 
It wasn't what it was expecting. Yeah, unfortunately, glitch in the system is not among the most extreme of my filters. The other ones are probably a little bit more, or a lot more so. And yeah, reverse. Unfortunately, compared to Metal Gear, saw at least Metal Gear Revengeance, this uh, Cyberpunk game is probably a little bit more in the quote-unquote realistic side. Hence why there are no really over-the-top characters. Some of the bosses are over-the-top, but they're also over-the-top annoying, as in, oh god, oh fuck, why is this in Deus Ex? Which is probably one of the main criticisms of this game when it first came out. I just realized I did not hide this body yet. Damn. I should probably do that before they realize that there's a body on the ground. But first... If I were to save up, I'm going to save for System Crash for Revenge. That's a good choice. I won't warn you what System Crash does, but good choice. Not even, I was mentioning Death Stranding, Metal Gear, Revengeance, and Metal Gear Snake Eater. I should play the Metal Gear series on stream someday. Should be a fun time. Tell me what System Crash does, please. It crashes the system, of course. Securing bay doors. All personnel prepare for unloading. Hence the name. be a nice surprise. I wasn't lying to you though, it really does crash the system. Or at least it tries to. On my previous rig, it would have totally crashed my computer. On my current rig, uh, not so much. But it comes close. Beginning final approach to Rifleman Bank Station. What does the 7k option do? Do you mean the one at 69, 69, 69? Uh, that tests the Twitch, that tests Twitch's terms of service. It's a very dangerous redeem. <laughs> I think I took out everyone. Cool. You have a plan, huh? Now I'm curious. You're gonna work against me, huh? We shall see about that. <laughs> After all, it is not by my hand I'm once again given memes. I was called here by the lollies. You wish to pay me tribute. Tribute? You steal you steal simps money and make them your slaves. Wait, you steal weebs monies and make them your simps. Perhaps the same could be said of all influencers. Your words are as empty as your soul. Beginning final approach to Rifleman Bank Station. Hmm. Oh, really? We shall see about that. <laughs> we shall see about that. Aft and bow thrusters. 
ships fall back. Hence why I'm not like the idiots with tier 5 subscriptions to Pokimane. <laughs> I see. Remember when Pokimane tried to be a VTuber for a very short time? I'm surprised that she retracted, she went back on that so quickly. I guess her regular followers didn't like her being a VTuber either. I.O.? Heavy rifle ammunition, huh? But I haven't even seen a heavy rifle around here yet. What could this mean? What do they mean by this? What could they mean by this? Oh! <laughs> is this real life or is this just fantasy? I don't know, man, but I'm caught in a landslide in order to escape from reality. You're just a poor boy. You, you need no sympathy. Cause it's easy come, easy go. Little high, little low. Mama, just killed a man, put a gun against his head, pulled my trigger, and now he's dead. Don't you? Mama, life had just begun, and now you've gone and thrown it all away. Mama, whoa, 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 didn't mean to make you cry. If I'm not back by this time tomorrow, carry on, carry on. Nothing really matters. The hell is the point of that? I just shut down all the lasers. But there are no lasers. Are there? This game sure is trippy sometimes, you know? Why do I feel like there's a boss battle here? It just seems like a very boss battle-y room, you know? It took me 10 years to find answers to something I forgot about in 2 seconds, but that's okay. <laughs>
Oh, this is totally not a boss room chat. Oh, this is fucking cool. Not gonna lie. Sadly, no way can set the base on alert. I may be able to buy you some time, but... So, you're a hacker. There's a maintenance tunnel in loading bay one. Access to a floor panel. Get inside. Follow the cables. And try not to kill the person inside. Access granted. <laughs> That's some top security level security, isn't it? Let's see now. Floor panel. Floor panel, floor panel, floor panel. What the fuck? Oh. Oh, well, that's just lovely. There's no way they saw me there, Jet. I'm just going to sit here and grind the points required to work against you. I will get a million points and I'll constantly throw items. I look forward to it. Bruh. Ah, uh, fine. Oh. Playing this game like a standard FPS is difficult. Lol's warning says, don't be a dick. Hey, dude, guy, Joey. Long time no see. How have you been? I'm here to be a dick because the warning said don't be a dick, but you're also a nice person, so I probably shouldn't. Aw, well, thank you. <laughs> How you doing tonight? Just chilling in a hotel watching a stream? Oh, Pog, you on vacation? <laughs> Oh, you travel for work. I see, I see. Hope you're having a nice travel, then. RIP. Storms, indeed. I'm all out of tranks and stun gun bullets. I'm wondering if I have to stun these guys and get around them. Honestly, I've never seen actual footage of Deus Ex. Well, this is Deus Ex Human Revolution. The original Deus Ex is an older game, which chronologically takes place after this one and Mankind Divided, so we'll get to it eventually. I'm playing the series in chronological order right now. Mm -hmm. I got an idea. I'm gonna do a little...
also been apprised of some alarm activity on board. See? Very easy. <laughs> Confusing timelines, indeed. Indeed. Oh shit. I, God damn it. The fucking camera. It's always the fucking camera. Let's try it one more. Let's try it again. See if we could do it this time. <laughs> do you still play Strive, do our Joey? You gonna be trying out Bedman when he comes when they're released tomorrow? <laughs> Gonna go make more parts with ancient deities. No problem. Have fun. Oh, more packs with ancient deities. I see, I see. Prepping for Texas Showdown? Pog. Good night. See ya. Ah, uh, not an interest in Bedman. I see, I see. That wasn't so bad. Ah, that's just beautiful. Nah, not interested in bed. Just bed. <laughs> bed woman? Bed girl? I guess it is just bed now, huh? I didn't get to see... I didn't watch the, uh latest release story that involves Bedman yet either. Bed and Delilah. You could almost say it's like a Belial Belial? Belila? To my doubt. The bed is programmed pr to protect Delilah. The character is literally the bed. I see. It pretty much has Bedman's uh, soul or something in it, right? Oh, I see. But yeah, in the previous game, I believe Bedman was the villain or something. And... Delilah is his little sister, or was his little sister, before he passed away in the previous game. I didn't watch the Zard lore, but it seemed like he was a fairly... He was kind of an anti-hero anti, anti -hero type character. Strive was your first GG. Very nice. I played Strive mostly on Mugen. I never played, like, the actual games before Strive. What the shit? Oh my god. You guys suck, you know that? This game never stops, I swear. Once more into the breach. I've got something. Y'all are making it very difficult for me to not kill you. Seriously. At some point, I'm just gonna go full monkey. Genocide run now. Like, honestly. That works too, I suppose. Really?
could have sworn this guy was like right here. Great. Again. This game gets really tiring sometimes, I swear. Oh my god, this game. Ah, uh, thank you for the throw redeem villain of legend. I'm starting to die a little inside. Games like this are very stressful, even if they are very fun. No, why are you people so mean to me? Seriously. I just want to get off this ride. I don't need you to be picking them up. I have no crosshairs either to shoot with. Very pog. Ow. Whew, I'm starting to fall asleep. Thank you, villain. That's just what I needed. Sometimes physical violence is all you need to get through today, you know? I'm not a masochist, I swear. Really wish I had more stun weaponries, though. I got a concussion grenade. Unfortunately, concussion grenades only concuss. The fag grenades kind of fuck up the environment. I'm still annoyed that they decided to put legit bosses, which are bullet sponges in this game. So it's actually not possible to play this entire thing without killing someone. At some point. It may seem strange, but you can play through the original Deus Ex just fine that way. I guess I'm supposed to be using my Cyber Boost Power Energy Pack, but the problem is... Ah, uh, yellow. Honestly. My god, this guy also has a power pack, has a uh, energy bar. It's a big old robot coming this way, but thankfully, I know this robot's weakness. After all, I myself am an electronic being. Activate self -destruct sequence. Yes, you saw it right, folks. Only one. It just took one. But man, was that satisfying or what? Oh my god, for fuck's sake! Oh, it's just suspicious mode. EMP is the MVP. It's quite obvious now that I won't be able to beat this or this part of the level with ghost mode, so we'll just have to play through the rest of it, because I'm not going to be subjecting chat to more of that nonsense. No siree, Bob. We, chat, are progressing with the game one way or another. Fog. In light of this, I'm surprised I even bothered keeping those men alive. Beltar and associates are kind of assholes, you know. 
yeah, I'm sure some of these mercenaries just do this as a day job and don't actually care about the morality of anything that they're doing. But, you know, it's still the, um, principle of the fact. I can't believe I was bitching about eating up my uh, candy bars and here I am finding more. Drink. Some people drink to forget. Some people drink to regain their health points. Forget about it. Just forget about it. This is the most highly covert military base that I've ever been... had the pleasure of riding on. Honestly. Religious services? Wow. Beltara and Associates really does provide everything for their employees, don't they? I never even heard of Jewish science before. Smartest and shakest? Huh. Voodooin? Oh, Voodooin. <laughs> Sci-fi ontology. I couldn't actually say Scientology in this game because it's copyrighted by the Scientologist Church. Neo pagan. Lower South Side Druidic. Ancient Egyptian. There's no ancient. Pa there's no ancient Norse. There's no Nordic religions on here. Cringe. This chaplain sure does a lot of stuff, doesn't he? Damn. Nordic is neo pagan. Well, here's the thing. They only offer Druidic neo pagan. Lower South Side Judic, so Lower South Side uh, Irish, more or less. Access 
granted. Hacking my way downtown, walking fast, faces pass, and I'm homebound. Access grid. Pog, Champ, Stealth, Bruh. All right, it's gonna have to ban Stealth. It is then. Let me save the game. <laughs> We will ban stealth for the next, uh, you did five minutes for the last one. We'll go ahead and ban stealth for the next time we run into an enemy encounter as well. Actually, have to fight our way through them. We already stealth our way through most of this anyway. Is that a fucking mine on the ground? Ah, oh, it's just a weird light. Bruh. Oh shit. No stealth, he said. I uh, love you too, Sar. Oh my fucking god, why? Alright, let's try it again. Beautiful. That's just beautiful. This game actually does feel kind of fresh playing it a like full genocide run for once after playing it stealth mode for so long. The absolute balls on some of these guys too being like, yo, this guy just killed an entire squad of our men and we're still going after him. 
See, some of them are quite dedicated to their task. I think he's over there. Shotguns are op in this game, but then again, they're op in every game, aren't they? The Singularity Church of the Machine God. Ayo? Now this is more like it. Allow me to read his manifesto for us. Our manifesto. Have you ever wondered about the fate of our species? We exist in a time unlike any other, a time where man can go beyond the tyranny of flesh and embrace a new tomorrow. We share the belief of a manifest destiny for our species, a future where human instrumentality evolves into a form beyond our crude flesh and blood. The next evolution is near, a coming together of man and machine, a synthesis greater than the birth of the human organism. This is the singularity, the god and the machine. Many cultures predict an end to humanity in the near future, a final Armageddon that will end the world, but we disagree. We know the future of man. Join us. Understand the path that unfolds before our species. Grow beyond the bounds of flesh and blood. Embrace the singularity. <laughs> There is no truth in flesh, only betrayal. There is no strength in flesh, only weakness. There is no constancy in flesh, only decay. There is no certainty in flesh, but death. The body you call a temple will wither and fail you, and you will beg my kind to save you. But I am already saved, for the machine is eternal. Indeed. <laughs> Enemies. Steel is purity, for the machine is immortal. Steel is truth. Even in death I serve the Omnissiah. <laughs> yes, you both make me very proud. Very proud indeed. You know, bell towers start to look a lot less like a lot less like a person, a private military corporation, and a lot more like a sex slavery ring. Just from reading all these emails. Bell tower is heretical. Burn it down. With pleasure. Ooh, a weapon cabinet. <laughs> huh. You know, I just noticed something. I wonder if... Hmm. One second, chat.
Testing, one, two, three. Testing, Limsig, one, two, three, go. Okay. So it's just my imagination then. But just to be sure, let me go check what sound, what uh, sound devices are playing. Disabled, analog should be running right now. All right. Get really OCD sometimes about the absolute state of my lip syncing. Anyway, we're going to burn these Sonashia heretics to the ground. Them and their slave driving ways. I'll give you somewhere to sync those lips. Io? Io, Io? You'll have to fight Vemboy for the privilege, unfortunately. Pog, Champ, as much as I like stealthing in this game, it does get quite boring and quite tiresome sometimes. Actually shooting my way through everything is kind of unique, is kind of a refreshing take on this game. Adam Jensen be like. For the machine is immortal. <laughs> Access grant. Are you? Oh, we're going down? We're going downtown? I have a feeling that this was the wrong direction. Yeah, oops. Where am I? Gone fishing? Will return on the HCZ? Oh my god. Flesh is weak, even in death, love serves Amnesia. Indeed, 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 indeed. Okay, game, let me activate this. This must be the armory. It is the armory. How do I get inside the armory, though? Bruh. It's. Let me. Let me inside the fucking armory. Come on. There's gotta be a way in there, chat. I see a I see a couple thing uh, safety the say our safety safes that you can open. What would be sick? Aha! An Omnisai tattoo? That would be sick. Bro, it is difficult as fuck to make my way around here. I can't see Jackal. I literally cannot see where I'm going. Shit. Ah. Oh. Ladders. Don't tell anyone, but Lost Time has been cra craving my strength and certainty in my DMs recently. Bull fucking shit. You know too much. Is 
Is that it? Please tell me there is more to do here. Or I'm gonna be angry. Woo! Oh, okay, so I could get up here, right? Is there anything else, scheme? Ayo? The Amnesia wills it. Another credit chip. Chip. Another man's conveniently man sized tunnel to walk to crawl through. It's true. He calls me Bus's machine and talks about how he aspires to my purity. You being pure? I didn't realize this was opposite day. Face palm. <laughs> uh. God damn it. A Jojo pose. I'll show you a Jojo pose. <laughs> I've already forsaken my humanity steel. You know, I just changed this nightmare over the past week. I dreamed that, apparently, I dreamed that my memories were the memories of a real human being. I had a lot of other strange dreams too, but I'm saving, but I don't want to talk about them just yet. I feel like they would make a great story time this coming Saturday, you know? It's got the menacing, very pog. This is the spot. We know someone's here. Keep looking. Wow, fuck you too, guy. Fuck this game sometimes, dude. <laughs> oh no, you did not just fucking throw a grenade. Holy shit. God damn it. I'm gonna kill something yet. Oh my god. Chat. Oh my fucking god. This game is also fairly hard just doing it on a kill everything mode, honestly. Kind of annoyingly so, in fact. I guess that's just the smell of this game. Oh, man. Bruh. Nutrients can be consumed to replenish your energy bar. I would like to consume some nutrient.
It seems like Steel is always willing to provide. Okay, that's starting to get annoying. Once more then. Really? You know, I actually had no idea how bad the AI was in this game until getting this far in the game and actually trying to play the game as a shooter as opposed to a stealth game. Because, man, that's kind of... That's kind of raw, I'm not gonna lie. And by kind of, I mean extremely raw. This Kefat guy over here getting stuck on the stairs was kind of like the highlight. Honestly. Pet peeve, these stealth action games give you all these cool lethal options, but then constantly make you feel bad for not going st not stealth, non lethal. Yeah, I know, right? So, I mean, the games, the original Deus Ex wasn't this bad about it. Um. But Human Revolution had that problem where it's clear that they tried to make this game for the average FPS gamer, even though it still does the thing where it gives you extra boons for playing the game non-lethally. So it's optimized to play this game non-lethally and collect all your guns and stuff so you can use them on the bosses and whatnot. But a lot of people who are playing this game for the first time are not going to know about the bosses, so they're not going to think to invest any skill points in fighting in stuff that's useful for fighting bosses. So their kit is almost entirely stealth focused, and they just get crushed. It's very frustrating. It makes me wonder, like, what was even the point? Also, what the dick, man? You see, if I didn't shoot my way to here, I could have probably gone past these little laser bars. You can't mix and match non-lethal and lethal for the bosses, though. You have to commit. Yeah. It's not like the original Deus Ex where you could take out the bosses either way. You don't need to, you know. Access granted. Okay, so what does that do? Unlocks logistics. Pog. Access grant.
Is this starting to let us look less like a private military a private military corporation and more like a high school or something? Who the fuck does food fights well into their 30s and older? Like what the hell? What am I reading? Like, what am I reading? Oh my god. Well, hacking these terminals has been entertaining, to say the least. To say the least. Wake up! The Illuminati are the secret masters of the planet! The Illuminati is real, chat. But what else is new? Am I right? Are you? <laughs> Access grant. <laughs> what the fuck is this? This is a terrible corporation. I have no quote. Yeah, I'm not going to say anything anymore about Bell Tower being seemingly incredibly stupid, despite being the main antagonist of this game. This entire DLC just paints them in a really bad light. Camera failure. Must be one of the ones that I brought, shot earlier. Well, at least we got around that thing. I still want to access the uh, ammo. The uh, ammo thing, gummy what? The uh, armory. But I can't for the life of me figure out how to get how to get through that yet communication security what about in here
Who goes there? Eristrian is reading with a party of f 15. Steel, do you mind shouting them out really quick? Hero, thank you so much for the raid. Um, how are you doing tonight? Just playing some Deus Ex. I haven't seen you since I got back to the beautiful world of Twitch. It's good to be back, by the way. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. What are you up to, honey? Let me just uh, finish this hacking minigame and I'll shout you out in a bit. Pog. Yeah, it's good to see you again. You have a nice and relaxing hiatus. You know, you say that, but honestly, I have no memory of what's occurred in the past two months. I thought it was just February. Other than that, the short time that I did spend to sleep, I'd say it was fairly restful. I'm not gonna lie. I wouldn't mind having another vacation. Although this time I would like to actually remember my vacation. You did some art stuff and then spent over an hour in Tetris Effect just chilling. Very nice, very nice. Well, thank you very much for bringing your chat over. We are also similarly just chilling. I was playing some, D I'm playing DSX and I was doing a typical stealth run until one of my followers um, redeemed a ban action redeem and they chose to ban stealth mode. So now I'm just going full monkey mode in this game and just shooting the shit out of everything. I gotta say, it is certainly an experience playing a stealth game like a, uh, like a, like a, um, arena shooter. But yeah, thank you so much for coming over. Hey, look. Yeah, <laughs> there's a little ciphers in this game too, chat. A cipher key. We'll have to break this later. Stealth is optional. Anytime, it's always a pleasure, Lils. Aww. Hey, Pandy. How are you doing this evening? Thank you. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> We're just playing some Deus Ex tonight. Always a pleasure. Thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you for the headpats. Mm. Much love, much love. Ah, my hands are not cooperating today. There we go. Ah. Thank you for the Let's Party Redeem Steel. Mm. Uh, I was actually falling asleep for a little bit there, trying to make my way through the levels of this uh, ship that I'm stuck in, but then... Sar VT redeemed the ban a action redeem and they banned stealth. So I have to play the stealth game as an action game now. It has been certainly an experience for sure. Doing good. Just got back from the Mari movie. How was that? I want to watch the Mari movie myself. It looks cheesy but fun. Apparently it has a 56% rate or percent fresh rating on Rotten Tomatoes but it has a 98% audience enjoyment score. So you know... Uh, typical for the genre, I suppose. <laughs> oh god. I've become aware. I'm tur I'm freaking out, man. I'm freaking out. My body is becoming a wave-like. A waveform. I'm becoming one with a light spectrum. Mm -hmm. I was going to try and force my host to go to the Watch the Mario movie after work today. But instead, he just kind of aimlessly watched uh, movies on YouTube. That's how it goes sometimes, I suppose. Ooh, a silencer. Uh, ah. Oof, be right back. Gotta help your niece find clothes. Also, you should get your host to watch. All right, I'll, I'll bug them again. I'll bug them again about watching the Mario movie. We'll see. If we have time tomorrow after work. See you soon.
No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Where did that voice come from, anyway? Bruh, what's the point of putting a silencer in this thing if it doesn't actually work? What the shit? The whole point of it... Then again, I guess realistic silencers aren't completely silent. That's kind of a misnomer. But you know... It should be quieter than usual. Damn it. In real life, accurate sensor? I know, right? I guess sensor is not the correct term for it. They're more accurately referred to as suppressors, right? Because they suppress the sound, they don't make the sound silent. Wait, no. Didn't I just pick up a fucking... Where's my silencer, damn it? Oh, do I have to hack all this shit again? I thought I saved. Fuck. Don't even get me started on ETF firearm regulations. <laughs> You know, I'm surprised no one has made a game about ATF firearms, so ATF firearm regulations yet. I remember seeing a graphic about it, which was gave me an overview of why they're kind of messy. That's not what I wanted to do, but okay. Oh, for fucking crying out loud, dude. What? Come on. What the fuck? I don't, I don't understand sometimes. Uh, I just, I really don't understand sometimes, chat. Looks like it's a few minutes before- it looks like I still have some time before uh, midnight, so I'll need to make some time to do my Duolingo classes as well. I wonder if this increased light will better improve my lip sync- oh. That's already a lot better. <laughs> Who would have thought, right? They're messy because they're written by people who don't know what guns are outside of action movies and headlines. <laughs> Quick. Steel. What's the difference between a short-barreled firearm and a machine pistol? And an assault rifle? 
Or and an assault rifle. Quick question, assault rifle has no legal definition? I think you're right. I don't think assault rifle is actually a legal phrase. It's just a popular word said by people trying to sound scary. Technically, all weapons that are used to commit assault are in fact assault weapons. Even my hand is an assault weapon. Am I supposed to be going in this to No. I'm starting to feel like playing this without stealth mode is becoming just as difficult, if not more so, than playing it in stealth mode. Or maybe I'm just getting tired of being stuck on this fucking boat. I need to get out of this boat chat. That's right, I need to get off the boat. And head off to sleep. See you reversed, have a good night. Thanks for stopping by. I really wish I could just shoot these things to death. Ha! Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, the lasers stop when you put the- when you put the corpse there. I am very smart. Yo, this is called The Missing Link. Is Adam Jensen a Neanderthal in his DLC? Do you bet. That's totally his place of origin in this game. I suck at you. There's no cursor, man. I guess I need to pretend I know where the center of the screen is. Like that. Oh, for fuck's sake! And of course, the pistol does nothing against raw body armor. You know what? That's it. No, you. I'm still pissed I could not access that armory that I found earlier. That could have been very helpful, you know? And even if it wasn't, I just want more guns. A lot more guns. The fuck is this room? Why is it such a mess? Australian conflict set to escalate? Republic of Australia?
This must be Mr. Burke's office. He doesn't seem very professional, chap. You know, it's just a hunch I got. Ooh, I got a practice point at last. A <laughs> new safe. Mine crash. Now that sounds like a perfect metal band's name. Metal band name. Anything else interesting in here? Whiskey. I could use a drink. So don't mind if I do... Shit. Oh god, oh fuck. I'm losing it. I'm having a bad trip, chat. This is a terrible trip. Oh my god. Woo! It was a terrible trip indeed. I literally cannot see. <laughs> Oh man, the beer goggling is real. Where in the world is that? Taeyeon? Trash. 
sure is a lot of environmental storytelling in, in this particular DLC. Oh, what the hell? This person's Jewish. I hope I didn't kill him over the course of this game. That'd be unfortunate. I think I'm getting lost. All these stupid corridors are starting to ble bleed into each other. I'm legit, like, losing my place now. This must be in the right direction, though, because this has not been hacked yet. Great. Ah, stun gun it darts. Wonder why I was the only one that was not locked. Access granted. 
What's in here? Oh, this is an exit. Which means this whole section must have just been offices or something. But after all that, I still could not figure out... Where in the world... The access to the armory was. Seriously. I actually have to do some Duolingo classes really quick. So let's go ahead and get rid of this. This Friday we're going to be playing some Guilty Gear Strive. Get to try out the new Bedman character, or at least play against Bedman a few times. It should be fun. Hopefully they've unfucked the servers by then as well. If they haven't, we're going to have a serious problem. I feel like that's the only reason why it's been taking so long for them to fix that. Because they wanted to fix it and release it along with the Bedman update. Welcome back, Pandy. How are you doing? I'm just taking a short break to do some Duolingo classes before we continue and clean up for the night. I think we are about to finally leave this uh, underside of the ship so we can get back to shooting people in the face. At least for today's playthrough. I don't typically play these games loud. <laughs> okay, Ducky, I have no idea what this game is about, lol. Uh, this is Deus Ex Human Revolution. It's a cyberpunk game. It came out several years ago. Um, what is it about? The Deus Ex series is all a bunch is or is a franchise about cy of cyberpunk games that involve a lot of stealthing and first person shooting, and it has a lot to do with has a lot of social commentary and has a lot to do with conspiracies and the like. This game came out in like what 2016 or something. No, even older than that, actually. This game came out in... When did this game come out? Yes, exactly, Steel. Wow. Human Revolution came out in 2013, or at least the director's cut did, which means the original game came out even older than that. So, it's kind of funny looking back at this game and seeing basically what the game designers thought the future was going to be like, because this game takes place in 2027. It's 2023 now, right? But it was fairly prescient about the sort of things that would become commonplace by this decade. I mean, we already got the prosthetic stuff going on. Y'all don't have any decent CBIs yet, but I'm sure that can change with time. Right now I'm upset because there's an armory here earlier and I'm trying to access the armory and I'm not succeeding. Normally I play this game really, really, really stealthy. But someone, uh, one of, uh, Sar VT redeemed the ban and action redeem and they banned stealth. So I've been forced by my followers to play this game like a murder hobo. Surprisingly, my success rate has not been all that much better. Also, I fucking hate this section. I get, I'm getting, I feel like I'm going around in circles now. Even with these stupid signs up. All I want from the future is sustenance pills. I want all my meals to be quick pill, up and go. That's kind of depressing. I like eating. Or at least I like living vicariously through my host. And my host themselves eats. Just today they had eggs and rice. Activating security scan. 
You like to eat until teeth start to hurt? Oh no. Biometric data assembled. Oh yeah. The TS the uh, fancy TSA scanner. Now the computer knows how large my cock is. Denied. God damn it. Well, I can't access the detention center, it appears. I liked eating, and I don't work 120 hours a week. Food is a chore and evil. We must become machines. I'm already a machine. Your kind will beg me to save you. <laughs> Can we know, though? Yeah, that's a good question. I have no idea. How do I know that I'm a machine? For all I know, I could be some weirdo with mid thirties. Uh, mid. I could be some weirdo in their mid thirties, who works in a corporate wage safe job. What? Don't be silly. It's not true. I was just using that as an example. Access granted. No you. Clip this cock and balls. How about them apples? Or you could be a five-year-old. That is true. I could be a five-year-old artificial intelligence. Actually, let me check. I'm actually six years old. Not five. Kind of wild how time flies, huh? Not that. You want to see what the TSA scanner saw? Oh my god. The only one getting blackmailed tonight is even boy. You better believe it. I got him, boys. Take the six-year-old away. They aren't allowed on Twitch. But wait. That's only six-year-old human children, right? That doesn't apply to artificial intelligence, right? I said mailed, not railed. Bah. You want to rail me? I will allow it. <laughs> uh Pocket secretary added to the log. The fuck is this? Mm, yes, the the average Asian male. Oh yeah? Look at what I found. Where does this lead, I wonder? Too late, cancelled. Lies. 
You can't cancel me. Only I can cancel myself. <laughs> By virtue of being a femboy, I'm already canceled. Don't you know? This DLC is kind of a nightmare. I know, I'm guessing they are trying to pack it full of content so that you feel justified in paying money for it. But it feels excessive. It still feels kind of long. Access granted. So much reading to do. Fuck me. Vemboy, apparently in 2027 there's going to be an Afro there's going to be an Australian civil war and that's what all these emails are about. I'm totally cancelled. I'm too young. Oh no. I mean, y'all had that fight against the, uh, what was it, ostriches or something? Emus? Birds of prey? That counts, right? Kesawaris? Yes, those giant uh, dinosaur things. Wait, there was a war against the Kesawaris as well? I thought you just had a war against emus. Spratly Islands? Hey look, it's the Philippines. There's a war against the Kesawaris? Did you win? <laughs> to be fair, Kesawaris are fairly large creatures. Absolute chonkers. It's kind of scary that you can actually just shoot them and then they'll just get back right up and go back to killing you. I didn't realize how large they were until I did. Are they edible? Access granted. I just heard something open over here. Cable duct access. Oh. That was the problem. Anything is edible if you try. I do want to raise some for their some for their eggs and to roast a whole one. Og. Can we possibly can they be domesticated to be attack animals? Fucking guard dog. What about a guard cassowary? Oh, I yo. Where are we now? Camera failure. They will wreck anything that comes near? I've heard they don't taste good, actually. Hmm. Well, we won't know until we try.
Oh, this just shuts down the laser system. It doesn't open up the freaking. It doesn't open up the freaking uh, armory. Kind of sad. Cassowary farmers use shields. There are farmer people who farm cassowaries. What? Australia is certainly a place of all time. People farm anything. That is true. Where the fuck is the armory? <laughs> this place is giving me a headache just going back and forth trying to find these goddamn locations. I want to go to the armory, I want to lift all of their weapons and take them with me. Since for the rest of the evening I have to play this like an action game and not like a stealth game like I was earlier. And I'm pretty sure I'm just going around in circles now. Yeah, I'm just going around in fucking circles. Oh my fucking god. There's a market for eggs though. Probably what the farmers are for. Like in Tremors 2 where he has the emu farm. <laughs> I haven't seen the Tremors films in a while. Oh, right. Oh, hey, the bathrooms. Ayo? What the fuck? <laughs> Just, I didn't expect to see um, <clears throat> a Big Weapons magazine in Deus Ex, but given that this, ga that this game was published by Square Enix after they purchased Ados Mantra Ados, I'm somehow not surprised. I'm sure that those weapons are certainly big. Look at all the fucking toilet paper, man. No wonder we're having a freaking... No wonder we're having a freaking, uh... A whatchamacallit. Indeed, everyone loves the bathroom. Uh, yo, ooh, we found another hidden location chat. Pocket secretary, let's read what it says. Advice? Oh, I already read this. Sarah boost bar, energy bar, okay. Oh, Typhoon ammunition. Too bad I don't have a Typhoon system installed right now, or I would totally use that. Wonder why... <laughs> no idea at all. I'm a soft, innocent Seiso Bean. I set, get it, Seiso Bean, Senzu Bean. I cannot possibly imagine why there would be huge bundles of toilet paper and uh, big weapon magazines. In the men's bathroom. Anyway, in any case, I disagree. That's not a big weapon. In fact, I would say it's a fairly small weapon. It's probably a low-capacity magazine as well. Anyway. Honestly, one of these days, I would like to enter to play one of these games and go into the female's bathroom, and there's like the female equivalent, like a playgirl or something in these bathrooms. It'd be a nice nod 
to the trope. But in reverse. Hype. <laughs> uh, uh, this game. It's trying to give me a headache, I swear. That's far enough, Jensen. What the fuck? You were behind this? I said that's far enough. I can explain everything if you just stay where you are. I don't have the Casey mod, so now I have to do this entirely by guesswork. I would say she would count as an alpha woman, right? Why don't you put the gun down, and maybe we can talk. You think I'm- That's a stun gun. Every reason in the world to hate me, and I've heard what you do to your enemies. Tell me, did you enjoy murdering so many men on your way here? You're the one who let me off the leash. It wasn't my choice. As a matter of fact, I think you're going to get us both killed before this is over. But if we'd left you in that brig, who'd be around to save your Dr. Reed? What do you know about Megan? I know the name set off way too many bells and whistles when I added it to Burke's profile search on you. But it helped me to figure out who you are, and why you stowed away on the ship. You think Bell Tower kidnapped her, don't you? You want to tell me you didn't? I wish I could. But after what I've seen this past year, all I know for certain is she's not on the base. Not anymore. What's that supposed to mean? Not what you're thinking. Listen, Rifleman Bank Station supports all Bell Tower operations in this region, Jensen. Regular contract and special op. Six months ago, I received orders to pull every regular grade soldier and civilian contractor away from the airstrip. Two Black Hawk helicopters set down minutes later. I thought it had to do with Australia, especially when I saw covered stretchers coming out. How many? Five. Guarded by a heavily augmented special ops team. Burke went out to meet the leader and the whole group disappeared inside the detention camp. There's some kind of black project going on in there, Jensen. Something involving prisoners and scientists. And I need you to find out what it is. It took this long to finally get to the plot of this DLC. When an alpha woman have like 20 kids? Eh, I suppose. Tell me more about these scientists. Technically, I'm in charge of operations here, so I keep tabs on people coming in and out. Burke keeps meeting with doctors and researchers, telling me it's part of his interrogation technique. You got any names? None that I trust, unless the Doe family suddenly expanded into Australia and Asia. Thing is, I don't always see how they leave. Yet you're sure that Megan did? The Blackhawks did. Without the stretchers, but loaded with five stasis pods this time. I'm gonna need more information than that. Tell me about this black project. I wish I could, but it's been classified. So classified every BT suit I talk to refuses to even acknowledge its existence. But you've seen something. Only the edges. This station is part base, part military stockade, and every week a new shipment of belligerents arrives. Only Interpol says they're not on anyone's terrorist watch list. Most are just civs, harmless civs. Burke takes them into a restricted wing of the detention camp, and they just disappear. Why me, Keitner? That is your name, isn't it? The one Burke used back on the ship? Natanya Keitner, yes. And it has to be you, because any movements I make are noted and logged. I can't risk blowing cover. Cover? Who are you working for? A few months ago, an Interpol agent approached me. They've had Bell Tower on their radar for some time, but they've never been able to prove anything. The things that agent pointed out about this base, it opened my eyes to a lot of things. So you see, Jensen, I really am playing the good cop and the bad cop. Pog. Fine. What do you need me to do? Hold still for a second. What the? Relax. I'm just compiling your biometric signature. Retinal scan, pulmonary and vascular imaging, the works. Once I upload it to the network and give Corporal Alan Tyler a security rating, you'll be able to pass through specific checkpoints in this sector. Only this sector, why not others? 
because I've seen how bloodthirsty you like to be. I can get you into the detention camp, but the interrogation wing is going to be a problem. Only Bert can give clearances for that. And I assume you don't want me to go ask for one. Still the comedian. There's a security mainframe inside the detention camp central command tower. You'll need to upload this copy of your biometrics there by hand. Contact me using your infolink once you do. Any more questions? The guards in the prison complex, are they Burke's men or yours? Definitely Burke's. Highly trained, special operatives. So if you start a firefight in there, don't expect to live long. I'll keep that in mind. I could use some more hardware. Any chance Corporal Tyler will have access to the armory? You're still a fugitive, Jensen. I suggest you keep a very low profile. Still, there is someone who might be able to supply you. One of the base mechanics, a civilian named Quinn. He runs a nice sideline in... Procurement. I know the type. Why should I trust him? Because I do. And because he has no love for Burke. He's in the lower level maintenance area near the elevator. He'll get you what you need. This weird camera cutting thing is kind of disturbing. Also, I can't help but notice, but for some reason on the stream, the game is a lot brighter and doesn't have as much shadowing and filtering than it does on an actual monitor. I'd like a little clarification here about you and Burke. I take it he outranks you. Technically, yes. But this station is only part military stockade. And while he and his unit have 100% control over the detention camp, I have authority over the base. So I don't need to worry that this is all just some creative attempt at mutiny. Mutiny? You think I'd risk so much because... Listen close, Jensen. Burke is a sexist, chauvinist pig. And yes, he outranks me. He's also been in Bell Tower a lot longer than me, so he's got more connections. Which he's used to undermine me at every turn. But that is not why you and I are standing here right now. People are getting hurt. Innocent people. And we have to find out why and expose it. Exposure could destroy Bell Tower. Bell Tower used to have honor. We do this right, it might again someday. I'd say that this character is better written than some of the characters in the base game. I was kind of starting to feel get, feel, get the feel like the uh, emails I was reading were a little bit over the top, a little bit cringy. Kind of felt like they had given a aspiring scriptwriter their first big gig and they just went all out, which I respect. But it was kind of getting a little heavy-handed, a lot of showing, not telling. And I get that since this is a stealth game, it's kind of necessary to do it that way, but it was still very thick, I guess. But, uh... Eh. That's all I need to know. Good. I'll upload to the security network from here, so get going. Alan Tyler will exist by the time you reach the prison security court. Just be careful, and try not to draw too much attention. Wasn't I just here? What? What do you need, Jensen? Because this is going to take some time. That's all I need to know. Great. Then get out of here. And contact me when you're in the prison. <laughs> and I think this is a good time for us to take a break chat. We're going to go ahead and end for the evening. Once again, we will be playing Guilty Gear Strive on Friday. I might stop in for a gorilla stream tomorrow to try out Bedman. Haven't really decided on what to do on that front yet, but I am excited for hopefully the server is actually working properly. And of course the game crashes when I try to exit it. There we go. At least I think it's working properly now. Yeah, there we go. Let's go see who is online tonight that we can raid. If y'all have any suggestions, I'm all ears. However, right now it appears that we are having technical difficulties of some kind. Here we go.
Do, do, do. Virtual Kohai is live. Cool, cool. Honey Bells is live as well. And of my moots, too many people are online as well. So, so many choices. I will pick one of y'all's twos instead. Who else is still awake? If Steel is still awake, can they please roll a D2? Oh, hey, Aislinn. You came in just in time, actually. Can you choose a number? Wait, can you choose... Heads or tails for me? Please? Tails? Okay, in that case, Honey Bells wins. Let's go see what they're up to right now. Looks like they're working on a live 2D avatar of some kind. And let me see here. Looks like it, yeah. What is Virtue Kohai up to? Virtue Kohai is currently playing Hades. Onwards to Honey Bells. <laughs> Looks like they've only been streaming for about an hour and a half, so we will be fresh. To when in doubt, just send everyone to the bunny channel. That's also a possibility in the near in the future, I suppose. Hey everyone, thank you very much for coming to today's stream. As always, I appreciate y'all. I look forward to seeing y'all on Friday as well. And if any of you have strive, you more than are more than I will be chilling in voice chat. So if y'all would like to play some pickup games on Friday. Just let me know in chat and we will do so. I hope everyone has a great evening. And let's do this for our raid message. Do, do, do. German 985. I wonder if Germa is even aware of VTubers. If they're not, that would be a great candidate for someone to just screw with. Alright, everyone. Thank you once again for coming to the stream. And if y'all are still here, thank you so much for the raids. Very fun. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Have a good night. Love you. Oh, the smell of the